all right guys welcome back central florida prepper here uh today we have another video for our weekly preps now that's including our normal foods that we eat um it also includes our long-term foods and our supplies for our pets here at the house so let's go ahead and get into it all right so before we get started we have hit a cold snap It's uh, about 89 degrees here. I don't know what we're going to do here in Central Florida with all this coolness we have now. It's actually still real muggy outside, guys. It's, it's freaking hot. Alright, so this week on our weekly prep series, usually my weekly prep series are geared towards human food. But as I have talked about in the past, we do have um, pets and part of our weekly prep we try to buy things for our pets now we went all out and went ahead and topped off for our year supply of pet food that way we are done with that so we know for sure that we have a year supply and my wife she has two bunny rabbits one is a lion head and one is a oh man i forgot what the oh mini rex has a mini rex it's not that many it's about five and a half pounds all right so we went ahead first and picked up some more of our timothy hay all right this is actually the main food source for rabbits unlike what other people say rabbits eat carrots and salads yeah they, they can eat eat that but um that's not their main diet as a matter of fact carrots are used as a treat for rabbits there's so much sugar in carrots and fruit that you really don't want to give that to your rabbits very often. Uh, so we went and picked up one, two, three, four, five, six more bags. Now between the two rabbits, we are averaging one bag is about two weeks for two rabbits. So we got another three months supply of that. And we picked up some more of the larger 10 pound bags of rabbit pellets. Those there last us about a month each um, mainly because we're only giving them about a cup of the pellets in the mornings and that's it you don't you don't want to feed your rabbits pellets all the time now if you are breeding rabbits for food purposes and you're wanting them to gain a lot of weight quick that's definitely what you want to go but their main diet is hay now I have showed in the past where we have purchased uh, hay seeds so we can start growing our own hay, especially when we get out towards Wyoming. But that's what we did so far this week. Like I said, we, we went hard on making sure we had a year supply for her rabbits. Um, that way, you know, the pets are taken care of. All right, and we also picked up some more of the beef ravioli. I know some people don't like it. I like beef ravioli. All right, so we got another eight cans of beef ravioli, and I also like the Beefy Mac. Now, there was a recall on some of the companies that sold the Beefy Mac. Uh, they're at the Save-A-Lot stores. This is not one of them. Uh, it is the same brand that we have been buying, the Del Pinos. So we're safe on that. I actually called Save-A-Lot. One of our subscribers had contacted me about the recall, and I talked to them, and no, these were not them. Next up, we do have our legacy shipment that did come in. This is the 16 serving family entree sample pack. Um, we will be showing this one actually tomorrow. We'll be using the uh, enchilada beans and rice. Now with the sample packs, of course, it's not all just one particular meal. It's four different types. Uh, so we got that one. I didn't want to just sit there and just show y'all legacy foods and just sell them without actually being the type of guy that actually purchase what he's trying to sell because on the show I try to show you the things that we purchase or things that we want to start purchasing so wanted to show you all that now yeah, I do get supplies from them for our usual videos that we will be doing as far as showcasing their products things like that but this is something that we decided we wanted to go ahead and pick up alright so 
that is what we did this week for our preps as far as a weekly prep video alright guys there you have it that is our week's prep for this week um, obviously I'm doing a lot of other things too um, but I'm trying to keep as much a schedule as I can for the week preps I do know that everyone here likes to see those videos uh, sometimes it's not on a perfect timetable as in a specific day that we do this um, you know that's that's life sometimes we get busy uh, but I do try to get them out at least once a week sometimes a few days late but there it is guys and again I do appreciate all the new subscribers that we have recently got um, our subscriber count has grew over 2200 subscribers and yes I am sweating and it's not because I'm nervous it's because it is hot out here in the shed um, I have to turn off the fans when I try to do audio when I try to do a video uh, it just picks it up too loud now I do want to apologize for last night's live stream um, when I went and watched the replay the audio was horrible the video was choppy um, I had never tested going live with the cell phone out here in the shed until last night and it did not turn out very well so I do apologize for that uh, any more filming that we'll be doing as far as live streams I'll just go ahead and use the laptop that way um, at least during the, the stream the audio and everything turns out very well uh, I do know when it does the replay my mouth does not match the words I'll be saying something and my mouth just keeps going and then something else would be said so I am still working on those technical issues I believe it's just because I'm too far away from the modem and also the shed is metal and I think that is affecting the internet connection or reception or whatever it is alright guys I won't take any more of your time I do appreciate you stopping in and watching this video don't forget those thumbs up guys I do appreciate it uh, and always feel free to comment in the videos if you have questions or anything like that you can always email me the email is in the about section of the channel Central Florida Prepper at hotmail.com and I also have a open invitation link and in the about section that goes to our channel discord um, something I forgot to mention several months ago when I actually started it I just put it up there and didn't think much about it um, so yeah you know make sure you find your way over there so anyway guys I'll speak to y'all later